Alright, so I just came home and saw this comment by Android. Now that's something I haven't really thought about, and that's the reason I ran to my PC and very quickly created a, a video on how you can bake out these things inside Blender. So for all you Mac users out there, you are able to follow the tutorial until that point of joining everything. And from that point on, when we export and move to XNormal, you can kind of watch this video here. So Anne, this is just for you. All right, the same idea applies to baking in Blender. We need to create a low poly plane and unwrap that one. Then we need to actually go to the UV image editor and create a new image at the size of the texture we want to have. Then go to the edit mode of the plane and select that image at the bottom so it gets applied to this plane. After that, it's very important to reset the location, so hit Alt and G, so the plane is actually at the origin of everything, similar to the other tutorial. So it has to line with the bounds of our tileable texture, as seen in the beginning. Then, you need to select the high poly object, hide it, and shift select the low poly object, so that we have one selected object and one active object, which is the selected object is the high poly model, and the active object is the low poly model. Then you need to make sure you are in Blender Render and not the Blender Game Engine. So select the render, the internal render at the top. Go to the Render tab, select Bake, select Normals, select it to Active since we have one active mesh and one selected mesh. Um, set the distance up to about 5. Now the distance is yeah, kind of the distance between those two models. In this case probably one unit would be enough, but just to make sure that everything gets baked correctly, set it to a high number, so something like 5 will do. Also set the bias up to 1, so you get a cleaner bake. Then you can just hit bake and wait for the result. If you want to bake out the ambient occlusion map, we need to go to the world tab, activate ambient occlusion, and set up the samples at the bottom to a bit higher numbers, something about 12 will do, so you get a cleaner AO bake. Make sure that you actually save out the normal map before baking the AO map, so that those two won't overwrite each other. Once you've set up the AO, the ambient occlusion in the world tab, you can go back to the render tab, select ambient occlusion from the drop down menu and just hit bake again. So that's the same thing that XNormal will do when importing the models done in Blender. Now this works perfectly fine for flat meshes, so this is also a very good way to do it in Blender, but as we will later use cages, this method of internal rendering won't work that well. Alright, so I hope this quick edition was very helpful, and it's quite a quick video, but I hope it's still understandable. Thanks for watching.